fucking Alan Aguilar. Aguilar. Aguilar said, Damn, big dude. You should just stick. Sorry. (laughs) The dick out of your mouth. (laughs) Damn, big dude. Says Alan Aguilar. You should stick to just metal. Because you don't know nothing. That's a double negative. So I know a lot. (laughs) About rap, bro. Meat Griner is full of bars from start to end. (laughs) And then you say there is no flow. What the fuck? Unsubscribing in three, Three. two, one. I'm Pete. I'm Chris. Metalheads in the act. <laughs> yeah, but that's stick to what you know thing. That, that drives me nuts. Yeah. Well, the whole point of this channel is for Just us to, to not stick to what we know. Yeah, to sort of expand our and get back into hip hop. Like we maybe you listen to it. You should stick to what you know, unless you agree exactly with how I feel on the topic. Fuck I'm out face. Of my mouth. Is it still MF recording? Doom. I thought you stopped it. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. It's too good to stop. So MF Doom, second chance. One beer. Now, as just a, I just want to mention that... Uh, That's an insufficient amount of beer. I know. So. But I want to mention that I have heard this album, but it was a long time ago. But I did enjoy it, so... You fucking son of a bitch. I know. But... Well, we're I'm re- going in blind. Yeah. Black to the blind. Oh, yeah. Vader. Vader. Great band, great band. We weren't expecting a Vader reference no, today, no. were you? No. In the dark. In the dark. <laughs> It art. Hey! All right, so people don't like our band. <laughs> what was that other video? They were like, video starts at 420. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you could have edited that one a little bit probably, stronger. Probably. I just felt like it was too good. You don't like the band to go fuck yourself. Yeah. So let's get in. That's our right reaction here. to your dumbass comments. <laughs> so we got the lyrics up. We're ready to go. Here we go. MF one, Doom, one beer. Yeah. Doom. I get no kick from champagne. Alcohol doesn't thrill me at all So tell me why shouldn't it be true I get a kick out of brew There's only one beer left Rappers screaming all in our ears like we're deaf Tempt me, do a number on the label Beat up all the MCs and drink them under the table Like it's on me Put it on my tab, kid, however you get there Foot it, cab it, iron horse it You leave it on your face, forfeit Across the mic, hold it like the heat, he might toss it Told her, tell him they stole it He told her he lost it She told him, get off it and a bunch of other more shit Get money, DTs be getting no new leads It's like you eat watermelon, stay spitting new seeds She told him, get off it and a bunch of other more A bunch of other more shit Getting money, DTs, be getting no new leads. It's like he eating watermelon, stay spitting new seeds. It's a good one. It was good. It's nice. This is fun so far, I think. It's a little... It's old school, like... Well, this is this is older, actually. Low so key. The, yeah, it's not, it's got the old, it's not like, very intense. break beats yeah. kind of thing. Really making... It, he's making the beat work for him as opposed to like changing what he's going to do to to work around the beat or so it's yeah yeah totally but I don't fucking know anything about hip hop so I should probably just stick to metal so. <laughs> let's keep it going you leave it on your face forfeit across the mic hold it like the heat he might toss it told her tell him they stole it he told her he lost it she told him get off it and a bunch of other more shit get money DT's be getting no new leads It's like he eating watermelon Stay spitting new seeds Mr. Weed, give me some of what he drooping off as Soon as he wake up, choking like it was hooping cough They grouping soft First hour at the open bar and they trooping off He went to go laugh and get some head by the side road She asked him autograph a derriere red to wide load This yard bird tastes like fried toad turned love villain Take pride in cold words Crooked eye mold nerd geek with a cold heart 
probably still be speaking in rhymes as an old fart. Study how to eat to die by the pizza guy. No, he's not too fly to ski in a squeeze of eye, a squeeze of thigh. Maybe give her curves a feel the same way she feel it when he flow with nerves of steel. They call a super when they need their back to a plumbing fix. How is only one left? The pack coming six. Whatever happened to two and three? A herb tried to slide with four and five and got caught. Like, what you doing, chick? Don't make them have to get cutting like truancy. Matter of fact, not for nothing right now. You and me, looser than a pair of Adidas. Stop it for a second. Okay. That's a really interesting flow now that I, you think about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Because. Hard and mean. <laughs> it's like almost lackadaisical in a way, but. Well, yeah, it's not con- almost. Yeah, controlled. <laughs> yeah, but it's controlled and it's. Oh, yeah, it's quite. There's no, nothing's happening per chance here. No, no. But it's interesting because it, you, you get the sense that it's sort of like, it almost sounds like it's lazy, but then you realize it's sort of, it's overly it's playful. It's not lazy. It's very calm. Yeah. But the it has beat's sort of... really calm. The vocal approach mm. is very calm. He's not, you can tell he's confident. Yeah. It's like a playful thing, right? Because he's or like, I can, I can get around to the line. I can make it work for you. I am enough of a wordsmith yeah. to make the line fit my needs. And I don't have to rush to get there. I don't have to right. regress towards yeah, I think it. That's what I'm I can to say. just I just know mm. it will work for me. Keep it that going. being said, I really don't enjoy it. Into it. <laughs> his, his, I like this his, more than the last one. His skill level is 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 very high though. Yeah. I like this more than the last one. Oh a lot more. Yeah. Um um, I think I like it. it for we'll me, keep it, going. It, it seems as though he's displaying a little bit more skill, but that's just me. Don't make him have to get cutting like truancy. Matter of fact, not for nothing right now. You and me, looser than a pair of Adidas. I hope you bought your spare tweeters. MCs sound like cheerleaders, rapping and dancing like redhead kingpin. Doom came to do the thing again, no matter who be blinging. He do it for the smelly hubbies. Seems know what time it is, like it's time for Teletubbies. Few can do it, even fewer can sell it. Take it from the dude who wear a mask like a tarted helmet. He plots shows like robberies. In and out, one, two, three, nobody's please. Run the cash and you won't get a wet sweatshirt. The mic is the shoddy, nobody moves, nobody get hurt. Bring heat like the boy done go on the wall. He came in the door, and everybody on the floor. A whole string of jobs like we on tour. Hey, night, on the score, coming to your corner store. Beats driving you nuts, isn't it? Well, the beats driving me nuts, but um, <laughs> oddly enough, it's reminding me of some other beats that don't m- drive me nuts. It um, it reminds me of like oddly they, they reference forty four Magnum in uh, what was it the uh, the Ramirez the Ramirez yeah. song. This remind like I'm waiting for Dirty Harry to come around. Yeah, it has that sound. That has yeah. that like yeah seventy. That there's like, kind of like a funk aspect to it, yeah. even though it's not very funky. No, I it's, know it does um, have that seventy sort of. It is like probably. like like the soul singing notes in the back. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, totally boisterous, but it's still calm. Um. But yeah, so I, I keep like. You keep replaying Magnum Force in my head. Yeah, I, well, I love the music and all those, like, cop, Yeah. Like, Dirty Harry. Like, yeah. Like, uh, that New York gritty kind of sound. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, there's a robbery at the corner store. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Chips. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Get a strata down there. No. <laughs> keep it going? Yeah, sure. Skip that. It's done. Now that the representative from South Africa has been mind program, all of the world's leaders on Earth are under my control. And when they meet tomorrow in special session, I, Doom, shall be voted master of the world. My plan is foolproof, but just in case. And what about small? Now you keep your eyes open. When I tell you, start snapping. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. I see. Uh, I am risking my life to tell you with, with great concern that I must warn you. Uh, uh, you must listen. Many among you have had their minds taken over. What a story. Start snapping. I wish I'd bought my autograph book. You're a t-
sense of humor for me. Right, Leadhead. You're weird. Like he's talking to me. Why is everyone staring at us? Oh, I should have realized. We must look like freaks to them. Relax, mister. Just do your thing. Get a good grip on my... All right, so what do you think? I don't. Honestly, I don't like FM, MF Doom. No. I'm just pretty sure I'm just not gonna like him. Um, actually, that that's that, that sounds wrong. He's probably a very nice guy. I just don't personally enjoy yeah the music so much. That being said, now that I've gotten a little bit better of a handle on the way he's approaching, yeah. Uh, the concept of flow and, and rhyme schemes and things like that. A lot of the things that I didn't understand as much in the first song are making a lot more sense now. Yeah, that's kind of the way I felt. Um, I don't know, but he, it really seems like he's kind of... This, this may be in total ignorance, but just from what I've been... What I've had access to hearing, it seems like he's kind of created this little like market like this little way Niche. of of approaching it yeah it's very yeah. unique to him i think yeah which is cool i respect that like when I, steve, I agree. like when steve uh, sorry yeah no i agree that um the end of this got kind of long-winded like like a, kinda. Just, it kind of wore thin <laughs> like quickly yeah it, it reminds me actually of and then it changed it beat entirely it's weird when I was younger I really liked Frank Zappa but now I listen and like sometimes the jokes just go on and on and just like this fucking enough you know like yeah I'm sure the Zappa fans aren't gonna get pissed but but sometimes he goes too far with the joke and thinks it's funny but it's just hitting you over the head with it you know like those yeah. Saturday Night Live skits where they go on for like five they have hours to be, those have to be very carefully crafted yeah certain jokes can last a long time and like you said you forget the whole vibe of the song with this end yeah. but for me I, I actually really like the flow on this a lot more than the other one we listened to and I like the lyrics a little more interesting it's kind of fun but in a um, yeah the beat I think we should get the rubric out. Let's get the rubric out because I find myself thinking about the different aspects. <laughs> yeah. So might as well go to the rubric. We'll be here till 10 at night. Rubric. So, yeah, lyrical flow. I think for this, I'm going to need a palate cleanser. It's not bad. It's not bad no, at all. No, it's just not your taste. I just really, I can't listen to that. Um, and I have a hard time understanding what people are getting out of it. But I know that they do. Well, I think, for me, I guess we're talking about the, are we talking about lyrical flow now? Uh, yeah, lyrical Let's flow. Let's talk about lyrical flow. I think, um, I love the flow, actually. Because um, I think, like you probably heard me and, Chris did or, or rap songs and I think after doing that maybe kind of appreciate flow more yeah and I think like hearing his delivery in this that like it was confident and like I said like lackadaisical a little but yet completely controlled sort of and it's almost like like you said like he knew he was going to get there but he was sort of it's just a very unique like I don't think anyone else yeah. in the genre does it like him so I think I appreciate that but on a personal thing it's like I probably wouldn't listen to this. Like, I wouldn't put this on my playlist. I can totally understand that. But I do appreciate what he's doing, and I don't want to be, like, ignorant to, like... Yeah. Like, you know, we both understand what he's doing and appreciate it, but does it well, resonate, I prob does it I resonate probably with us, don't. You know? I probably don't understand what he's doing. I'm trying to the best of my ability. Well, I think, like you said, like, it's sort of a niche thing that he's created yeah. for himself, and I think that's kind of what people, I think, respect. Yeah. And, the people like it's who unique. Can... You could hear this and be like, "Oh, that's MF Doom." Like, I think yes. we probably clearly could, yeah could you know that's saying something. I think. But if I'm gonna give it a score for flow, I, I did like the flow. Um, I'm gonna say I like this one a lot better than the other one we heard. So I'm gonna give it like a, I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. 
just because I, I don't know. I thought it was pretty skillful, actually. Yeah. What do you think? I was going to say six. Six. Um, recognizing a skill, but being that this is a reaction channel. Yeah. My reaction isn't not crazy about it. Yeah, it's not resonating but, with you. Yeah, it doesn't resonate with me at all. Yeah. If this does resonate with you, what what does like you know what what about this is what about the way that he raps is in the same key that your brain thinks in is the best way like I can think to describe it. That's why I what let me know. Tell me in the comments. Um, because I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm just, I can't imagine a mood where I would want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I've i never felt the way where I was like, yep, I want to hear what I can, liken it to the, please don't take this disrespectfully, but I know you will, but this is just, this is slam poetry to me without the slam uh, and when I listen to NPR every day, like once a week, they like bring in this poet. I fucking hate that slam poetry stuff. Oh, and I just like, all right, okay. Um, but no, he 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 definitely knows what he's doing with words, mm -hmm. and it's not a coincidence that the that the flow uh, is it's very off kilter. There's no there's no cadence. It's it's what it, it needs to be to fit what he wants to say. And he's not concerned with where it ends in a bar. He says, well, well I'm not done yet. No, I'm yeah. going to... I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, but I'm gonna by the same token, he is concerned because it is ending where it's supposed to end, sort of. Well, if it is, and I'm... But I, I, I'm not noticing it because yeah. I'm so distracted by trying to... by trying to get into the song. Yeah, I know. Um... No, that's the thing. That's the thing about music. I think in general is like, you could appreciate something, yeah, and see the skill in it, but necessarily not want to put it on your playlist. Or whatever. Yeah, and I think that's where we're at. Maybe with Doom a little bit. Let's see, I was gonna say six for flow. Six for flow. Lyrical content. So wait, uh, what? Oh are yeah, an eight? you so got the seven. Pad. Get the yeah, pad. You okay. said eight. So it's six. So it's seven. Pick up sticks. Content. You you can start while I'm writing this. Ooh. Um, I think the lyrics when I were re was reading them were a lot more fun than the other one that I can recall. I did like that <laughs> the watermelon seeds line. Um, maybe it's because I'm not as skilled in following along to hip hop, but is there a reason that it's called one beer? Because it seemed, as far as I'm aware, maybe a lot of it's going over my head. But he references a beer early on. And then he goes off on a story that I can't follow at all. Yeah. Because I don't I don't necessarily think it's even a story. It's I think Well, it's sort of like there's sort of like he was talking about like other MCs and stuff and but I wonder yeah, I wonder how he's using the one beer reference, like Yeah. Like are they all the MCs fighting over the one beer? That's sort it's, of the way I interpret it. I'm not. I'm like not thinking that it. it's actually a beer. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not. For, it's, it's a metaphor for yeah. something else, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I think. It, well, the fact that we'd have to go back and like read the lyrics and think about it means maybe it's fucking good. <laughs> as soon as you wake up, choking like it was whooping cough, they group in soft. First hour at the open bar, and they're trooping off. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's a nice flow. There's, there's, a nice there's solid content there. Yeah. It's. What is DT's again? I know that's one. If he's referencing Delirium Tremens. Oh. Is, you think he is? I don't know. No, probably not, but that is good stuff. Well, he's referencing beer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe he is referencing the, uh, the alcohol the uh, alcohol withdrawal DT's. Um, Detectives, maybe? I Getting new leads? Maybe. I wish we were drinking Germans right now. <laughs> then it would go downhill. Yes, yeah, we wouldn't be able to rock through a damn fact. thing. But, but yeah, no, so the content's you... pretty solid. There's there's a lot there, so much there that I can't even. Yeah, I'm we'd have reading to... it actively right now, and I'm yeah, still yeah, out of yeah. trouble. Uh, I'll give it an eight content wise. 
What about you? Yeah. Like I, ass I, hillbilly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like the lyrical content a lot. This it's fun, but it's some cool. It's smart lyrically. I think. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things you'd have to listen to a lot and sort of delve deeper into it. Yeah. Because I think there's a lot under the hood sort of happening. Um, even though it is fun, there's some, he's probably touching on some some other stuff. I don't know. For me, when you yeah. give it, when you give it, I give it an eight. Oh, not to kiss, kiss your ass. Right ass. Now, yeah. now the beat. The beat starts here. You didn't. The beat. Well, you can start because I know you didn't like it. And <laughs> you can start because I know you didn't like. No, I didn't. And like to be it. honest, yeah, I, I'm kind of. There was one section you. like closer yeah, when the to the end came out. when I when I liked it a little bit, but it seemed like the the song had had practically elapsed at that point. It's that pitch when the pitch goes up and the voice goes up. It sounds weird yeah. to me always, and I think that's what we were both keyed in on. It's and it got grading. Kind it's of very great. like. I mean, we understand it's, it's, it's like a breakbeat. It's that tough for me to style. separate it from the from the lyric from from the vocals. Yeah, um, which is a good thing. Oh, is it? Isn't it? I mean, that it's like one one thing. I guess it can be, like and gels. it can't be. You know, yeah, depending on what you want out of the song. Um, well, what do you think? So you didn't like that voice thing? Though. No. Yeah. Um, but it. But it served the song. Yeah. It really did. It made sense with like with his vocal approach. So I've got to give it a little higher for that. Can't just give it a low mark because I don't like it. Um, or I can. Well, well, I know what you're saying. Well, but, you have to be uh, sort of subjective to it. Yeah. I know you're trying to be objective, but... I'll give it a five. Five? I wasn't crazy about it either, so... And for a lot of the same reasons... So I'm going to give it a 6. Okay. So we'll say 5.5. But I did like it better than the beat in the other song that we listened to. What was that called? Mad Vill Villainy or something? I forgot. Yeah. I can't what was the other song? Oh, Meat Grinder. Meat Grinder. Yeah. So I like, overall, I think we both like this better than the other one. But. Borderline schizo, sort of fine tits, though. Well, that's good, but <laughs> nothing wrong with fine tits, but neither here nor there. Production, Pro production, nothing to write it's home. Pretty about. low fi, pretty low fi, yeah. Intentionally, um, but that's the thing too that I was thinking of when I was here. Thinking of that. Well, when I was listening to his voice, I'm thinking of like, wow, there's not much effects on it. Not that there needs to be. Yeah, there doesn't need to be. It shows how good he is. That because when I try to do it, it's like I had to like layer that <laughs> shit with effects, but like, and people even said it wasn't enough. But <laughs> you need to get some more effects. So it made me appreciate like. You know this isn't good, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <gasps> heartbreaking. <laughs> I tried my best. All right, but anyway, yeah. You so that's what I was thinking you of. Were like, doomed to fail. Even though, the, like you said, the production was pretty lo-fi, but like yeah. it's like his voice didn't need it. I like the sound of his voice. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if we're going to talk about production, sorry to interrupt, but what really? do you think? Really? So well, what do you, is lo-fi good or bad? I mean, that, that's my whole dilemma with this. It can be both. It fits. It, it, fits it depends on the song. It's tough for me to say because, like, like there's a band that's on we the radio it. now. Yeah. Uh, situationally, called the Black Keys. They were on oh, some yeah, commercials. Keys, yeah. They're like a, kind of like a bluesy rock yeah. pop thing. But when they started out, they were very much just kind of like an explosive blues duo, guitar and drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More and raw kind of. Really, really gritty. Yeah. Really like lo-fi style stuff. But it really served what they were trying to do. Why is it polished now? I haven't heard them. Oh yeah, it's like. Oh really? But now that we've gone off on a tangent, um, a year five. Uh, don't kiss my ass no. I'm not kissing your ass because actually I like the production I like that it was raw and I like that it was bare bones kind of especially yeah. like his voice was just so like he just fucking plugged the mic in like I like that yeah so I'm going to give it a 7 okay so we'll say 6 so let's what tally up the scores tally up bitch so 6.62 
Round it up to 6.66. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. 6.66. Right. 6. That's a number good, of the beast. That's a good Fuck score. Fuck like a our, beast. In our world, that's a good score, yeah. Fuck like a beast. You know, wasp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bitch. All right. All right, so. Well, yeah. MF Doom, second chance. One beer. Got a 6.66. But I think we're probably going to move on. On the Richter on. scale. I think it's safe to say we're going to move on from MF Doom now. Yeah. I don't see us doing this channel for two more years. So <laughs> will we get back around to it? <laughs> well, that's what we were saying. We run out of shirts. Rock we're shirts. running out of metal shirts. Yeah. yeah. Then the channel's over. I've already started repeating some. You have? But you have like... You have like 15 years more experience of metal show going to. So... All right, subscribe, do it. If you already did, do it again. Even though that would undo it, so do yeah, it again, do it. and then do it again, again. And uh, yeah, see. You in the don't next flip one. your steaks too much when you grill them. Don't be an idiot. That's true. Actually. Don't drive drunk. You fucking piece of shit. These people want those crosshatch bullshit though, and the steaks. Fucking it's a slippery slope, man. Garbage. <laughs>